We got a damn good show. All right. Great. I've started the show off with the hiccups. Oh, what the fuck? I had all these... God damn it! I had all these videos queued up, you son of a fucking cunt. Another reason why they don't. Food. The food is wild to me. Like the fact that people would eat that cheese from a can and Baloney. everything. Like what is that? Oh, meatloaf. <laughs> meat, what's meatloaf? Bro, y'all have hag. First off, all right. Now I'm not gonna be so nice. Dear British, meatloaf is delicious. You motherfuckers have blood pudding, haggis, beans on toast. And honestly, there really isn't any deli delicious British dish. I'll give you beef Wellington. That's about it. America, we gotta do better. But I find that Americans like obsessed with divisions on the basis of race. I just feel like you just don't get that here. That is the weirdest. Yeah, is that why there's little Somalia in Britain? Is that why Britain brought in a bunch of people, a bunch of fucking immigrants? And now they're losing their culture to these fuckers. Oh, is this jackass? Hey, um, what stage of capitalism is this? Oh, you know, just that phase with the federal Supreme Court. Wow! What a soy boy! has decided not to hear a case that essentially bans the right to protest in three states, which upholds the Supreme Court, has decided not to hear a case that essentially bans the right to protest in three states, which upholds the ruling of the lower court, which effectively strips those citizens of their First Amendment rights. Wait a second, what? What stage of capitalism is this? Oh, you know, just that phase where the federal Supreme Court has decided not to hear a case that essentially bans the right to protest in three states, which upholds the ruling of the lower. I have no idea what in the hell he's talking about. Kind of a clear cut violation of the First Amendment would be probably big news. So there's that effectively strips those funny i figured i would have heard about this i'll never apologize for being a man and i will never say that i have any privilege because quite frankly i don't think have you ever been in an uber texting a mate just to make sure that someone knows you're getting home safely um, have you ever walked down the street and realized you are way more likely to be the target of violence? Because statistically speaking, men are way more likely to be the target of violence. Have you ever held a hand over your drink the entire night to make sure you don't get spiked? Have you ever, have you ever worried that your contraceptives will be used by the woman and reinserted into herself to trap you into the cycle of child support. Changed your outfit before leaving home because you can't be bothered with the unwanted attention. All right, you got me there. I never once checked my outfit before I left home to worry that I'm going to get catcalled by a bunch of fucking harpies. You got me there. But why do I think that happens far less in your life, sweetheart? Have you ever rejected someone just for them to turn around and call you a fucking bitch? I have rejected a woman and had her literally scream, what are you, a fat, right in my face. Have you ever just been scared of someone of the opposite sex? Yes. Have you ever faked an orgasm because it's... Yes. ...safer than telling the person you're sleeping with just to... Now, to be fair, it's a little harder for a man to fake an orgasm because our orgasm usually comes with us, you know, giving you our baby gravy. But, yeah, we can do it. Stop. Have you ever had to make up that you have another half so that someone at a bar will leave you alone? Yes. You could argue that women have privileges too, like being bought drinks at clubs, but that's only because the person buying us a drink wants to fuck us. There are other privileges that... We 
No, women have the ability to live life on sandbox mode. Men do not. Women have, like, getting custody over children, but that's a product of the system that we're in. No, it's not. Uh, otherwise, unless you want to say women are crappier caregivers to, of children. And it's a system that we're in that we're trying to change, which would genuinely benefit you guys as well. We're trying to balance the world out, and in order for you guys... You will never have balance. That's impossible. Equality is a decent idea. Equity is one of the worst ideas in the long, sad history of bad ideas. 18. Hold on, I gotta back her up. One out of every five women will be sexually assaulted and raped before she reaches the age of 18. Um... I know you're not talking about America. If we want to throw in the Congo, then sure. You big black African queen. Why then you, you should go to the police. Not listen to racist black feminists. Go to the police. Oh, she's talking, she's also thrown in countries where the police are not really a thing. 70% of girls who are sex trafficked are girls of color. Yeah, because they come out of areas where nobody gives a shit about the children. And I also guess fuck the 30% of girls that are white that are sex trafficked. Because, yeah, we all know Viola Davis, you're a racist c Well, if they're still in silence, then that's their choice. Do we not punish people for the crime of, uh, of, 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 of sex assault? Do we not punish rape oh yeah that's right i think we fucking do and yeah i'll say the fucking real words because i don't give a flying fuck about youtube's monetization policies i don't care i would rather be fan supported by the way, the link to join my Patreon is down below. There you go. There's the link to donate. Five dollars more get your video. Yada yada yada. Here's this jackass, uh, thinking that now we're using DEI as a replacement for racial slurs. Kamala Harris is the nation's first DEI president. She wasn't picked for qualifications. She was picked because she was a chick and she had melanin. That's it. No, if Trump wins another term, I'll be doing backflips down the hallway. Alright. I gotta play a little bit of the debate between... give you my number one tip to get over a breakup, and that is gonna be going to therapy. Going to therapy helped me so, so much. It could help for so many other reasons, but this was like a... Here's a way to get over a breakup. Just fucking goddamn drink. I really gotta l learn Discord. Anyway, um, so Django hosted this panel with uh, Soy Boy Destiny, Who Cares, himself, Dipshit, and Brianna Wu. Now, Brianna Wu is the only reason I'm talking about this. 
And uh, I really gotta fucking pay you. Hums. Hey, tell you what. Tell you what. I will open the lines. However, we are only going to stick to the topic on hand. I am only going to take you one at a time. And if, let's say, that little pissant shows up, I'm shutting everything down right now. Do you agree or not? Type agree if you agree to the terms. Why do you think I hate Kamala Harris? Well, you were just saying that she was wrong about, like, everything. That's why, why I'm asking. Why, why do you think that? Is it because she's just wrong about everything? Yet? Or uh, I'm wanna, assuming because... Bring, I'm assuming it's because... Or, or is you, it just because, because she's a woman? Oh, she's a yeah. woman. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. She's just wrong. About? Everything. Like? Well, one, she'll never be president. Uh, if Joe Biden dies, she'll be president. If Joe Biden by steps law, down. By law, yes, she will. Yeah. Yeah, so and she'll be president. And she will be destroyed by Donald Trump. I mean, if she's president, she would still be president, right? Technically, yes. President. If Joe Biden I steps mean, down. Are you vote for Kamala Harris? Uh, yes. Why? Harm reduction. Harm reduction. Why? Because Trump actively supports Project You're... 2025. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. No, he doesn't. Yep, he absolutely does. He has literally gone on Truth Social, his own fucking platform, and it's said, his, no, yeah. I don't. Okay, so are you saying that he can't lie? That he won't lie? He Everyone absolutely does not lie. lie. Okay. All right, fine. Go. It's, about abolishing, it's like abolishing the Department of Education. It's terminating the National Institute of Health. Stop! 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 That's what you just I said. I generally am, yes. Okay, so then we should abolish the Supreme Court or expand it because they are unelected. They're judges, not bureaucrats. They are. Uh, have you not seen what they've been doing recently? Uh, bureaucrats fill out a job application. Okay. Judges don't. Okay. Because so, they're still appointees, ensure, but why? That's the way to ensure democracy. They are appointed that's, by the will of the people. Of the That's time. literally not democracy. That is well, actually we the don't exact actually have democracy. a democracy. We so. are a democracy. No, we yeah. are not a democracy. Yes, we are. We are no, democracy. we are not a democracy. We're a yes, constitutional we fucking republic. So does that not have democracy elements? Yeah, but so they don't so rule. So by definition, by technicality. Okay, then by technical is... definition, gays wouldn't be able to get married. Why? They were, they were, it was voted illegal. Marriage right, was who? defined by one man and one woman who, in 2008. Who voted illegal? Who in voted California. Illegal? In California? So did that change, right? That changed. Yes. Right? By a okay, decision so the people... by the Supreme Court. So... California probably was a, ba uh, uh, a ballot initiative on the November okay. 4, 2008 ballot, which okay. confirmed marriage is one man, one woman. The Supreme Court ruled with conservative justices, mind you, that As marriage, in 20, in 2008, that that law, correct? that that in law, 20, in, oh wait, correct, that that law was unconstitutional. Had we had a straight of democracy, Prop 8 would probably still stand. Because remember, whether you like it or not, people of color, when it comes to shit like this. They're you want to talk about people of color? No, 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 And they're no, no, no. way you want to talk about people illiberal. Color? You want to talk about people of color? Because we can. Every time we do, though, you get scared. You oh, back oh, re oh, oh, really? Yes. Really? Yes, we do. So yes, the black community do. is totally 
one hundred percent behind gay rights. I don't if think we, so. Are we talking about one hundred percent? Are we really okay. going to talk about that? The majority what, 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 of them are for gay percentage? rights. What uh, percentage? I would the say the majority of them. No, I wouldn't even rights. say the majority. Yeah, the majority I, I of would black say if I let uh, if I if rights. I if I were to put should gay people get married and left it only to black people, it would fail seventy five twenty five. That is literally not true. No, that's literally true. Uh, from what is what the most data? religious from group? What, of what is the most? What is from the most religious group of people on this uh, in the United States? White people. Nope. Not yep. even close. Yeah. So not actually, even. Not up. even. I, yeah, fucking, yeah. Actually. Yeah. According to yep. Pew Research, yep. not even yep. close. Uh, so that you're wrong. Um, also, 62 Where we get our census data from is wrong. 62% of black communities support gay marriage. So, again, you're wrong. So And 90% of you are Christian. Okay. And 62% support gay marriage. Surprise. We Where'd you get that stat from? <laughs> Where'd I get that stat from? Uh, Pew Research Center. You wanted to use Pew? We can use Pew. Hmm. Yeah, you, That's you odd, just Because that Pew. really conflicts you with the data I Pew. got. Yeah, what data you got? From Pew. Yeah? Yeah. What data do you got? It's about 23% support gay marriage. Yeah. Pull it up. Pull it up. Oh, me pull it up? Yes, you. You made the claim. Yeah, I made the claim. It's my show. You want me to yeah. share my screen? I can. Go ahead, share your screen. I don't care. You'll, you don't care? It'd be a damn shame if you were wrong. Oh, God. Oh, it might God. mean I might have learned something. I know. It's very rare for you to try and learn something. So here we go. African Americans. And here we go. More millennials, even. 74%. Man, man, look at all these people who support gay marriage. Funny. Man, what's they funny? Have, they, you, they, they don't have Gen Z in here. Okay. And this. Wait, yeah, they literally wrong. did. Well, I, this I was wrote in 2017, it. so Gen Z yeah, was still pretty I young. just saw it. And uh, Gen Z and? support has gone down. I, I doubt that. Also, do you have evidence? Um, do you have, hang on. Do you have evidence? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, You whoa, just whoa, made whoa, the claim. No, no, no. You made the black claim. Was, where black is was, your, black where was is your 51. That's still a majority of black people. Barely. That doesn't and matter. Also, it's still are a majority. they all going to vote? <laughs> They're going to try. Backlash. I see <laughs> yeah, the notice growing backlash against all this stupid pride crap. Stupid pride crap. What do you mean by that? Also, what do you also? care? Are you gay uh, or something, or you oh, know? I'm I'm banned, man. I'm bi, man. I've slept with men and women okay. at the same time too. And does Pride Month mean anything less than nothing to you? I mean, I like it. I don't give a fuck though. Why? It's nice to recognize. It rec it's nice to recognize gay history. Well, you're not gay. You're bi. I slept with men. Oh, wait, hang on. Pride Month means more than just being gay so anything relating to what, what, anything what, what, relating what, what, to the lgbt it, what community it, what, it, what well outside of outside, outside of, of outside of being attracted to your own sex yeah no it doesn't mean anything else beyond but, that yeah actually it does there's a huge there's a, a whole lot of history like behind what it. like history have you not heard of the stonewall riots Oh my God! Something that happened way back when. Or then, then there's been more movements no, for LGBT really, people. Uh, there really there has. There literally has. Well, I don't. Stonewall is just one of the biggest ones. Yeah, and Crimea fucking river, and also why you wait, guys why, why, won? Why? You guys won why? damn near ten years ago when the Supreme yeah, Court cool. ruled you could get married. Cool. So good for, good you have people. no more steps. You have I mean, no more goals. Wait, Your you movement the should people, have ended you, then. Hey, you, no, actually, there's plenty more to do. Like there's plenty what? more to do. Do you not see the backlash against the LGBT community? Yeah, like, because you're jamming it down our fucking jamming? throats. How am I jamming it down your throat? Oh, I don't know. Wanting to force pride into everything. 
so so celebrating being gay and going it is okay it is natural is forcing it down people's throats celebrating being damn gay. damn it, it would be suck that, if straight no, no, people no, no, were doing no, no. that hold on hold on shut up 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 it sucks that you're doing Shut it. Shut up. Uh, you know savers. what? I'm just going to mute your fucking mic. Okay, do it. It's do fine. It. It's fine. Do it. It's fine. Shut up. It is fine. No, it is fine. It is fine. It is fine. Fi you know what? I'm done with you. Okay. Ah, hell. People were waiting. This person I don't know. And if it's porn, I'm gonna have to shut the stream down and delete it. Hello, you're on the air. So, uh, I don't know sure why you ran away from me. Well, because you wouldn't let me fucking talk. Okay, so you were screaming like a little bitch. You were screaming like a ratchety bitch. So let's try this again. You wanna make your point? Go ahead and make your point. You don't know. You had a lot to say, apparently, and then you quit. What did I have a lot to say about? You were fresher. You, you were, were fresher. What we were talking about? You were saying gay people were shoving things down your throat, and that you were angry about it. Uh, not down my throat personally. Down society's throat. Meaning Again. what? Meaning what? Why do we have to have the rainbow flag everywhere? Why, why do we? we have, why, why, not? why? Why do we have to have? Um. Why do we have to have, uh, you know, gay characters in every fucking sitcom? And two, and two, and two, and two, and two, I kind of do remember this. Um, or what? So why yeah. do we need straight characters in every sitcom then? They're 98% that's just, that's just of the population. Straight. Okay, so are we go. Are we just going on percentages here? Yeah. Why does everybody... because there's a lot of well, well. You go ahead. Explain to me because you're on the other side. Why okay. does every Why does every sitcom need a gay character? Well, not every sitcom has a gay character, but those that do. Hey, okay. you know what? It happens. Name one cool. that doesn't. A gay A gay character doesn't exist. A sitcom. Uh, shit, man. I don't actually watch a whole lot of sitcoms. Uh, but if I'm going to say one off the top of my head, I'm going to say, fuck. Um, nope, I can't. I don't, I don't know any sitcoms. Wait. Uh, what fucking... a shock. Yeah, man. I don't think, I don't watch a lot of sitcoms. Yeah, and every piece of new media that I have consumed has had gay, Fresh Prince of Bel -Air. lesbian. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air Bel Bel did not have a gay character. Yeah. So Nor there did we go. sister sister. So cool. There we go. Now we're on the same side here. I just I just agreed to your terms. I just brought I brought a couple to your attention. And, and I went and, there you go. And neither of them had a gay character. Yeah, that was your point. You said name you one that didn't have a gay character in it. Okay, I said name one recently. Fresh Prince of Bel Air ended in nineteen ninety nine. Sister Sister, I don't know when the fuck that ended. Okay, so why does it matter how recent it is? Because every fucking Young goddamn Young television Young show has a gay character in it, including okay. one for young children. Even though gay people Sheldon. make up Sheldon. maybe, maybe 8% of the population. What so does it matter what the percentage is from whatever you're viewing? For the gay population, in regards to representation, could they only be? Aren't you motherfuckers always? Aren't you motherfuckers? Hey, I'm uh, asking I, wait, you. Wait, no, 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 no. Let me finish my question. Go, go ahead. Aren't you motherfuckers always the one whining and bitching and complaining about representation? Okay, so if you were listening again, I'm asking you what the problem with representation is. For me, I like representation. Great. Cool. So you're I'm glad overrepresented. We We're underrepresented? Yes. No, you're over. 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 Over? Over? Over. So if okay, so are we are we talking about like per capita Two now? Or stars what are we talking about? Stars over the rainbow. Cool. Great song. Do you want to sing together? I can sing with you. 
I can sing better. But you, no, you're overrepresented. Hold on. Okay. Every I'm single waiting. fucking show that is produced Every single show. right now and has produced in right the now. last five years has had okay. to have a gay character. Gay has had to or has, has had, chosen gay to? Gay people has had, are about 8% of the population. Every single show right now has had to have people of color in their cast. Has, has had, and has you are have. And you are at best at best, maybe twenty percent of the population. Cool. So let me let me. Let me so you're that. overrepresented when you're in everything. So only there so should let me, be let me some get this shows right. Let me get this right. Let me where get this it's right. nothing but make... whites by your logic. Cool. So most of television history has been that way. But no, this is by your logic. No, 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 but no, no. Shows made right now. I don't give a fuck about the past. Shows made right now should have majority white casts with one or two gay characters, if any. So I want to, I want to, I want to repeat back to you what you just said to me. Okay. Are you okay with this? Go for it, buddy. Because you said shows right now need to have my. You, did you? You said minority. I'm assuming you mean majority. White characters. No. I want to make they, sure. I'm no, still white, I'm still white, white characters are no longer allowed. Unless so that's they're completely obviously idiots. not true. Have you watched the boys recently, man? Have you watched Star Wars Acolyte? Okay, so that's. That's set in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah. Okay, have you seen The Boys? Okay, I'll be completely fair to you. No. Well, have you seen The Boys? Okay, have so maybe you, you seen should. Have you seen NBC's latest lineup? No. What does that have to do with what I'm asking about, though, man? Every so I'm asking you. Every single okay. show. Yep. It's either a POC. Hmm? Or it's a it's a it's a uh, woman of color, or it's a okay. woman. Okay, so the alkalite is not based in our reality, so that I don't know how that's related to anything you're talking about. But if we want to talk about something based roughly to our reality, we can talk about the boys. The boys is primarily a white cast. And where there is, is the there's and one where, gay and where, character. And where where is the boys primarily set in? I think New York. Actually, all and across the United States. I but I be- believe it's New York. And I believe the boys does have some supernatural elements in it, doesn't it? Does it not? Yeah, I said it, I said it's closer to our reality than Star so Wars. We can never do we reality. can never do the Sopranos today. That is my argument. Are, have you? Have you seen the boys, man? Oh, okay, no, you haven't. Sorry. Uh, I don't care. You could totally you do. Just you could admit, totally do you premise. just admitted that the boys has supernatural elements in it. We yeah, can never. It we, can, to us. we can never do the, the Sopranos today. Wait, yeah, we could. No, we couldn't. We literally had Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Yeah, and that ended and then, like, long the, before the sequel all the stupid, long before all the stupid leftist bullshit happened. Left it. Better Call Saul released recently, and the ending of Breaking Bad released like what two, three years ago. So yeah, you you could totally you could never, make the you Sopranos. Could never do the Sopranos today. Okay, why do you this, think you wouldn't be able to do the Sopranos? Uh oh, I don't know. The whole Tracy storyline. Okay, uh, why do you think you wouldn't be able to do that again today? Have you watched The Sopranos? What yes, happens in that abuse, scene? The domestic abuse scene. I know what you're talking about. You can make no, it No, it's today. not domestic abuse. It's not the domestic abuse scene? There is no domestic abuse scene in the entirety of The Sopranos. There's All right. none. <laughs> okay. How about, how about, when, so how, about, how, about how, how about, how would you shoot Tony strangling Carmella? How would you how shoot How would you that? shoot it? How would you shoot that and not and not irk the ire of the left today? Um, 
Okay, so I mean, do you want me to go on into the full description of what how I would shoot it? Yeah, because I how I, would I, you shoot that scene? How would you shoot the fight that led up to Tony nearly choking his wife to death? I mean, you could still make it the way it is now, man. You never watch The Sopranos because I made that entire fucking scene up. Do you know how many episodes, do you know how many seasons there are of The Sopranos? I've watched them all. I made that okay, cool. up. Okay, cool. All right, you, you you're done. Watched the I'm never nope. talking to you again. Nope. Okay. You're done. Again, I made that shit up. You watch The Sopranos. You can watch it on HBO Max. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, fuck you. I'm done. But you can watch the entire Sopranos thing, and you and he said he watched it. And no, that scene does not exist. I lied. All right. Uh, you know what? God, I hate to... I feel bad a little bit about Iron Gullet. Or I feel a little bit bad about Power Falcon. Iron Gullet's a fucking asshole. Hey, man, stop being a bitch. Seriously. We were having a conversation. You proved you know nothing of which you talk about. You are yeah. done to me. Is that you sure? You are done. Yeah, so you like oh, me. Okay. You know cool. what? All I'll right. just start banning your channels. Okay. Cool. Do it, bitch. Do it, bitch. All right. You know what? Once again, smart asses have taken over the stream. I'm out. Good night, everyone.